Close your eyes and watch your breath. It's a part of your awareness that tends to get pushed to the side, because other things seem more important. After all, if you don't pay attention to the breath, it still comes in and goes out on its own. But it is good to give it some full attention. After all, it is the force of life. The quality of the breath will have an effect both on the body and on the mind. But if you're not paying attention to it, the body just breathes any little which way. And your emotions come in, greed, aversion, delusion, fear. These push the breath around as well. So give it some space of its own. Allow it to fill the whole body. Think of the breath sweeping in. All the cobwebs in the body get swept away. The organs get nourished. Everything gets put into alignment. And then the mind has a good place to stay. The Pali term for this is Vihara Dhamma, a quality that is a home. The quality of concentration, the quality of mindfulness, the quality of well-being that you can create from the concentration and mindfulness. Because mindfulness is not just watching things. It's remembering. And some of the things you remember are, what are the possibilities of what you're going to do with the breath? When the body is tense, how do you breathe in a way that's more relaxing? When it's tired, how do you breathe in a way that gives it energy? You bring that knowledge to the present moment. You're not just accepting the present moment as it is, or celebrating the present moment as it is, because after all, there's a lot in the present moment that is not pleasant. But you have the power to change. This is the good message of the Buddha's teachings, that we're not simply on the receiving end of things. The suffering that weighs down the mind is suffering that we're creating. And he says that not to lay blame, but to point to a possibility. You can change your actions. A lot of the things we do in ignorance, he says, if you do them with knowledge, turn from a cause of suffering into a, in part of the path to the end of suffering. Breathing is one of them. So bring awareness to the breath. Bring your mindfulness to the breath, all that you can remember about the good things that you can do with the breath. And see how you can nudge your breath in that direction, how you nudge the mind in the right direction. You find that if you pay full attention to the breath, it has a lot more to offer than just in and out and just simply keeping you alive. It can provide a good place to be right here, right now. A stable place to be right here, right now. A comfortable place. Just give it a little attention and it will repay your attention many times over.